children let us continue the chapter triangle now let us solve the exercise based on pythagoras theorem and its converse come to the exercise here there is a question first question sides of triangles are given below determine which of them are right triangles in case of a right triangles write the length of its hypotenuse here there are four sets of measurements of sides and you take one by one to determine the right angle triangle you have to use the converse of the pythagoras theorem what the converse of the pythagoras theorem says in a triangle if square of one side is equals to the sum of the squares of the other two sides then those two sides containing the right angle or the angle opposite to the first side is a right angle so in each case we have to find the square of each number here or each value and we have to compare the square of the bigger number with the sum of the squares of the other two numbers and if the square of the bigger number is equals to the sum of the squares of the other two numbers then you can conclude that the given measurement is the sides of the right angle triangle so you take the first one here first one is 7 cm 24 cm 25 cm now here get the square of each number that is 7 square 7 square is 7 into 7 that is 49 7 square is 49 24 square is equals to 24 into 24 that is 576 you can write it directly or otherwise if you know if you don't know it directly find the product of 24 and 24 and you write it 24 into 24 is here 576 next 25 square 25 square that you can write it directly 25 square means 25 into 25 that is 625 you don't know to write it directly multiply 25 by 25 25 into 25 you know that its product is 625 here 5 of 5 is 25 5 of 2 is 10 125 will get and 25 to the 50 so you will get that is 625 in this way by multiplying also you can get it but you can write it directly if you are having in your mind next here the greater number is 625 here so here find the sum of the other two numbers 49 plus 576 that you will get here it is the sum of this two you will get is 625 therefore here you got 49 plus 576 is equals to 625 so you can write 625 is equals to 49 plus 576 it means 25 square is equals to 7 square plus 24 square so square of one side becomes equals to the sum of the squares of the other two sides so it is a right angle triangle therefore it is a right angle triangle so which side becomes the hypotenuse here which length becomes the hypotenuse you know that the length of the measurement that is 25 cm becomes the length of the hypotenuse so you write the it is a right angle triangle the right angled triangle it is a right angle triangle so here the length of the hypotenuse is length of the hypotenuse is length of the hypotenuse is how much that is 25 cm then take the second one 3 cm 8 cm 6 cm 3 cm 8 cm 
and 6 cm. Now you find the square of pitch here. That is 3 square. 3 square means 3 into 3. That is 9. 8 square. That is 8 into 8. 64. 6 square. That is 6 into 6. 36. Then here bigger number is 64. And if you add 36 and 9. You will get 45. Which is not equal to 65. So here what you can write. Here. 64 is not equals to 9 plus 36. It means 64 means 8 square is not equals to 3 square plus 6 square. Therefore here square of the one side is not equals to the sum of the squares of the other, uh, other two sides. Therefore you can conclude that it is not It is not right angle triangle. Right angle triangle. Next you take the third one. That is 50, 80, 100. So you take it. Third one is 50 centimeter, 80 centimeter and 100 centimeter. So, get the square of each 50 square. 50 square means 50 into 50. 5 square you know that is 25. So, 50 square will have 2 zeros. 50 is having 1 zero means its square is having 2 zero. 5 square is 25. So, it is 2500. At the same time 8 square. You know 8 square. 8 square means 8 into 8 that is 64. And 80 square is having two zeros. 80 is having one zero. 80 square is having two zero. So it is 80 square is 6400. Next 100 square. 100 square is 100 into 100. That is four zeros you will get. 100 is having two zero. Its square is having four zero. Now find the sum of these two. 2500 plus 6400 you will get. That is 8900 which is not equals to 10,000. So you can write that 2500 plus 6400 is not equals to 10,000 or you can write 10,000 is not equals to 2500 plus 6400. 10,000 means 100 square is not equals to 50 square plus 80 square. Therefore, here it is not. It is not a right angle triangle. It is not a right angle triangle. The last one is here. 13, 12, 5. Fourth one, 13 centimeter, 12 centimeter and 5 centimeter. Here it is, 13 centimeter, 12 centimeter and 5 centimeter. Now you find the square of each here, 13 square. That is 13 into 13, 13 into 13 is 169 you will get. Next, 12 square. 12 square means 12 into 12. That is 144. 5 square. 5 square is 5 into 5. That is 25. And here, add 25 and 144. What you will get? 169 you will get. So, here you can say that 169 is equals to 144 plus 25. 144 plus 25. That is 169 is 6, 13 square is equals to 12 square plus 5 square. Again according to the converse of the Pythagoras theorem. Here what you got? Square of one side is equals to sum of the squares of the other two sides. Then you will get a right angle triangle here. Therefore it is a. It is a. Right angle triangle. 
it is a right angle triangle so here which is the what is the length of the hypotenuse length of the hypotenuse is okay, length of the hypotenuse is that is 13 centimeter length of the hypotenuse is 13 centimeter second question PQR is a triangle right angled at P and M is a point on QR such that PM is perpendicular to QR show that PM square is equals to QM into MR here we got that triangle PQR is a right angle triangle at P and PM is drawn perpendicular to QR so here two triangles are formed and already you know that they are similar here but here let us prove that triangle QMP is similar to triangle PMR how will you prove that the triangle QMP is similar to triangle PMR one pair of angles you can get here these two angles are 90 degree and you can have one pair of equal angles what about other pair here you see the angle this angle that is angle Q that is, is equals to 180 minus sum of these two sum of the remaining angles and already one angle is 90 means that becomes 90 minus angle QPM 90 minus angle QPM here the, I have marked here angle Q is equals to what 90 minus angle QPM similarly you take this triangle this this triangle here that is triangle PMR in this triangle angle MPR is also equals to 90 minus the same angle 90 minus same angle because QPM QPR is the angle QPR is the sum of these two angles angle QPM and angle RPM so angle RPM is equals to what 90 minus the angle QPM so these two angles are equals to 90 minus same angle 90 minus same angle so they must be equal so by having these two we can prove that the two triangles are similar therefore you write in triangle QMP and triangle PMR triangle PMR you write the first pair of equal angles they are angle angle QMP is equals to angle PMR both are equals to 90 degree here why they are 90 degree because PM is perpendicular to QR PM is perpendicular to QR and angle Q angle Q is equals to what angle Q is equals to 90 minus angle QPM and angle MPR is also is equals to 90 minus angle QPM therefore these two angles must be equal therefore let us write angle Q is equals to angle Q is equals to angle MPR angle MPR reason what you are going to give both are equals to both are equal to 90 minus angle which angle QPM both of them are equals to 90 minus angle QPM both angle angle Q is also equals to 90 minus angle QPM angle MPR is also equals to 90 minus same angle QPM therefore this angle Q must be equals to angle MPR now you got that is therefore you can write that triangle QP QMP triangle 
QMP is similar to triangle PMR. PMR which similarity criterion used here? That is AA similarity criteria. AA similarity criteria. Then you write the ratio of the cor corresponding sides here that becomes QM by PM. QM by PM is equals to you write QM by PM is equals to again PM by RM. PM by RM you write or MR you will take. You can take MR or RM here. So you got QM by PM is equals to PM by MR. Then here it becomes to the cross multiplication it becomes QM into MR is equals to PM into PM you will get PM square. And here what reason you are going to give? Corresponding sides of corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional. Similar triangles are proportional. Write correct here. That is what is the reason here you can write. Or also you can write ratio of corresponding sides are equal here. Yeah? Ratio of ratio of corresponding sides of corresponding sides of similar triangles are are equal here. Yeah? Ratio of corresponding sides of similar triangles are equal. So here you got the result that is QM into MR is equals to PM square which implies what PM square is equals to QM into MR that is the result you got here. Now you take the third question in the figure ABD is a triangle right angled at A and AC is perpendicular to BD show that AB square is equals to BC into BD AC square is equals to BC into DC AD square is equals to BD into CD here this result already we proved once before proving the Pythagoras theorem now here with respect to this triangle and this figure let us prove the these three things that is AB square is equals to BC into BD, AC square is equals to BC into DC, AD square is equals to BD into CD. So to prove the first one you write to prove to prove AB square is equals to BC into BD. AB square is equals to BC into BD. You take the triangle and triangle BCA. Triangle. You take the triangle BAC and triangle BAD. In triangle. In triangle BAC and triangle BDA. Here these two triangles are right angle triangle and in triangle BAC angle BCA is 90 degree and in triangle BDA angle BAC is, BAD is 90 degree. So you write you got one pair of equal angles here angle BCA angle BCA is equals to 90 degree and in triangle BDA angle BAD is equals to 90 degree both are equals to 90 degree it is given it is given that 
here angle BAD is 90 degree given and also it is given that AC is perpendicular to BD therefore angle ACB is also 90 degree that is angle BCA is also 90 degree. Then you can have angle B is equals to angle B. This, uh, this angle is the common angle of both the triangle because you know that angle B is the angle of the triangle BAC and also it is the angle of the triangle BDA. So you can write angle B is equals to angle B that is common angle. So you can write common angle. Therefore you can write that triangle triangle BAC BAC is similar to triangle BDA similar to triangle BDA according to which similarity criteria that you can write AA similarity criteria AA similarity criteria you can write so you got that these two triangles are similar first one pair of angles which are equals they are right angles second pair that is common angle the angle B which is common to both the triangle so you take that one so then you can write the ratio AB by BD is equals to or BA by BD is equals to you take BC by see here BA by BD is equals to then BC by BC by BA you will get BC by BA BC by BA so here what the reason you can give here because once you got there the two triangles are similar means their corresponding sides are proportional means ratio of corresponding sides are equal ratio of corresponding sides are equal reason that you can give here therefore now you do the cross multiplication a b into b a is nothing but a b square is equals to b c into b d you got the first one here by the cross multiplying a b into a b a b square b c into b d b c into b d you got here so you got the result next to prove the second one Next, you prove second one that is AC square is equals to BC into DC. To prove what? To prove second one. To prove AC square is equals to BC into DC. BC into DC. Here, you take the triangle ACB and DCA. Here what you have to prove AC square is equals to BC into CD. So you take the triangle which are made by the perpendicular drawn from A to BD. So you take the triangle ACB in triangle in triangle ACB and triangle and triangle DCB. DCA DCA in triangle ACB and triangle DCA again these two triangles are right angle triangle and you will get one pair of equal angles which are right angles and you can make here here these two angles are right angles then you write the right angles here so you write angle which angle ACB is equals to angle DCA both are equals to 90 degree because AC perpendicular to BD here AC perpendicular to BD therefore these two angles are right angles next you have one more pair here and you can have here 
if you take this angle see here take this angle if you take this angle this angle must be equals to 90 minus this angle that is red marked angle here why it is because you know that in triangle ACB sum of three angle is equals to 180 degree as already one right angle is there means the sum of the remaining angles must be equals to 90 degree remaining angle means here angle CBA that is the angle B angle B so your angle B is equals to what 90 minus angle CAB 90 minus angle CAB and next here if you take the angle CAD angle CAD that is also equals to 90 minus angle CAB how it is because you know that here this is angle BAC 90 degree angle is BAC minus angle CAB means you will get the angle CAD so here this whole angle 90 degree angle minus this angle you will get the angle CAD so you can write that angle B is equals to angle CAD because both are equals to 90 minus same angle CAB. So you can write angle B is equals to angle CAD. Here same color marks are there. So you can write angle B is equals to angle CAB. Why it is? Both are equals to both are equals to 90 minus same angle that is same angle is here which angle CAB red marked angle is there see that angle angle CAB 90 minus angle CAB is angle B and also 90 minus angle CAB is angle CAD angle CAD you write here angle CAD angle CAD so you got one more pair equal angles then you can write therefore triangle ACB is similar to triangle DCA similar to triangle DCA then you write the ratio you got triangle ACB is similar to triangle DCA write the ratio of the corresponding sides here that is AC by DC AC by DC is equals to AC by DC is equals to then you write BC by BC by what? You write BC by C here BC by C. Now here do the cross multiplication AC into AC is AC square is equals to BC into DC. Here what you are going to give same reason you can give that is that is what ratio of corresponding sides are equal. Ratio of corresponding sides of similar triangles are equal. You write that one. Ratio of this is for this one reason ratio corresponding sides of similar triangles are equal equal here you got the second result then to prove the third one to prove that to prove that what AD square is equals to BD into CD BD into BD into CD now here you take the triangles to prove this you take the triangles ADB that is the given triangle original triangle and also newly formed triangle by drawing CA perpendicular to BD that you take the triangle CDA so you take in triangle ADB and triangle 
सी डी ए सी डी ए एंड यू नो दैट हेयर अगेन देर आर इक्वल एंगल्स विच आर इक्वल टू नाइंटी डिग्री दैट इज द एंगल इन ट्रैंगल ए डी बी यू नो दैट एंगल बी ए डी इज नाइंटी डिग्री एंगल बी ए डी और डी ए बी डी ए बी इज इज नाइंटी डिग्री एंड इन ट्रैंगल सी डी ए एंगल सी दैट इज एंगल डी सी ए एंगल डी सी ए इज इक्वल टू नाइंटी डिग्री सो हियर इट इज गिवन दैट इज गिवन हियर नेक्स्ट यू नो दैट ओन कॉमन एंगल इज देर हियर एंगल डी इज द एंगल ऑफ द ट्रैंगल ए डी बी एंड ऑल्सो इट इज एंगल ऑफ द ट्रैंगल सी डी ए यू राइट एंगल विच एंगल डी इज इक्वल टू एंगल डी ए एंगल डी इज इक्वल टू डी दैट इज कॉमन एंगल यू कैन टेक हियर कॉमन एंगल बिकॉज दिस इज ए एंगल ऑफ बोथ द ट्राइंगल डी इज ए एंगल ऑफ द ट्राइंगल ए डी बी एंड ऑल्सो इट इज ए ट्राइंगल ऑफ द ट्राइंगल सी डी ए दैट इज अ कॉमन एंगल देर फोर यू कैन राइट ट्राइंगल ए डी बी इज सिमिलर टू ट्राइंगल सी डी ए सो राइट देन यू राइट द रेशियो ए डी बाई सी डी इज इक्वल टू हियर यू राइट द रीजन ए ए सिमिलारिटी क्राइटेरिया वॉट इज दैट ए सिमिलारिटी क्राइटेरिया देन यू राइट द रेशियो हियर ए डी बाय सी डी इज इक्वल टू यू राइट ए डी बाय सी डी इज इक्वल टू ए डी बाय सी डी इज इक्वल टू बी डी बाय डी ए यू टेक बी डी बाय डी ए दैट इज दिस बाय दिस देन डू द क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन हियर वॉट इज द रीजन अगेन सेम रीजन रेशियो ऑफ करस्पॉन्डिंग साइड्स ऑफ similar triangles are equal then you do the cross multiplication that we will get ad into da ad square is equals to bd into cd you got the third result also